Community Voices spotlights local leaders, artists, activists, and organizations in the New York metropolitan area that are shaping and empowering our communities. Join us as we present the diverse voices of people creating positive change. You're not alone. We hear the cry. I'm Maya Asusena. I am a Brooklyn born and raised international artist. So I started in Brooklyn, but I go all around the world making music, singing my heart out and hopefully uplifting people with my songs. I always knew that I wanted to pursue the arts as a career. I never took a day job that I intended to keep, ever. For anyone that's ever interviewed me in the past and I said that I was dedicated to the company for the rest of my life, I lied. <laughs> I always knew, I always knew. <laughs> I think the turning point for me in terms of knowing something about my art was knowing that art and music is my superpower. There was a turning point for me when I realized that my activism was music. I realized that I could use my craft to contribute to social activism when I was in high school. Um, I was a part of a youth organization called City Kids, and that was the first time that they made it clear to us that as teens we are the future, we have a voice that matters, our opinions can contribute the direction of the world, and we um, wrote songs of our own that spoke to everything from violent uh, conflict resolution to domestic violence to global warming. We were talking about these things as, as, as kids. Um, and I realized that the seed was planted then, but it came back to me many years later um, when I, growing up in New York, being in New York, September 11th happened and um, all of us New Yorkers felt like we wanted to do something to help and we, I had this thing, this feeling of being overwhelmed and, and momentarily helpless to make a change and in that moment um, I, I felt like what can I do? What can I possibly do? And this kind of wave came over me of like, I, I have to sing, I have to, I have to get out there and I have to sing, I have to get on a mic and I have to sing. It was like, it was like, you know, an X-Men or something discovering your superpower. It was like in that moment that it was like the thing that surged up was, like, I have to do what I have access to and that is to sing, to get on this mic and to somehow let people know what's possible, let people know their greatness, let people know that healing is possible and that was my my vehicle and so that moment for me probably was really defined around September 11th, 2001. Access to performing arts is incredibly important to local community, um, particularly because it is a way to express who you are in the world and it's also a way to document your story. You know when I work with youth I often ask them how many of you think that you have an important story? And some, most of the time, none of them raise their hand, or maybe one. And I said, you know, your story is very important. There's only one you in the whole world, ever, that will ever be. And imagine some time that in the future, your grandchild may want to know your story, your experience in the world. Art is, is a means for that. It's also a means for um, <clears throat> expressing emotion and, and all types of things that, that we don't have other opportunities to address. You don't get to address what's you're going on with your inner world when you're sitting at a desk job. You know, art allows that to 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 be expressed and that expression is healthy and it's healing and it's important. I guarantee you it changes people's lives. Hey, I'm Maya Asusena and you have just tuned into Community Voices. Can you hear the call? You're watching Community Voices, featuring people like you and me who are transforming our neighborhoods one project at a time.